We are back live here on our world-famous Chiggy Jaguar radio broadcast. We are coast-to-coast and border-to-border on iHeartRadio and also AMFM247.com. We have got a great guest joining us today here on the telephone. Jeremy Edge is with us. So, uh, Jeremy, give me a little bit on your background, my friend. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Hey, well, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, well, um, my biggest background, I guess, is I've uh, been a guitar player uh, ever since I can remember. <laughs> and um, uh, through the country, did a whole lot of work with a lot of bands, did a lot of rock stuff. Now we're done doing more kind of a, a bluesy and classic rock stuff. Um, branching out on the vocals a little bit and uh, got a new record out that we're real proud of. And uh, I'm you know, just excited to try to keep playing music however I can. So h- how did you get started doing the music thing, Jeremy? Um, man, I think I got started doing the music thing because I had two older sisters who had a huge record collection. I had one of them was taking guitar lessons, and uh, I, I just had to kind of be in that mixture. So I ended up taking lessons when I was about nine years old, I'd say. Fantastic. Jeremy Edge with us today. Now, how do we find you on uh, social media, websites, all these things? Uh, if you search Jeremy Edge, it's going to come up. Uh, Jeremy Edge Music. Is Facebook, uh, YouTube uh, should be just under Jeremy Edge, um, and you can find me on Instagram also under Jeremy Edge Music. Fantastic, Jeremy Edge with us today. He joins us live here in our broadcast, and uh, so uh, you, when when did you start playing music? What what was uh, take us through all that, my man? Oh man, we're going back a long ways. I, and I would say in my teens, you know, high school. I started playing in bands. I was actually still in high school playing my first bar gigs uh, for things like Amvets and, and just local bars, kind of kind of sneaking in under the radar and, and booking shows and, and that kind of thing. Jeremy Edge with us today. He joins us live here in the broadcast. So what are some of your goals for your music, man? Man, I guess I, I think I've gone past getting goals, you know what I'm saying? I think none of us are... It's not the 70s or the 80s anymore. We're not trying to conquer the world or be rock stars. Um, I think my goal is to just make the best music I can and hope uh, a lot of people dig it. And uh, I, uh, I think we, at the end of the day, we want to kind of create a nice distraction from all the, the serious crap that's going on in the world today and, and just uh, kind of bring together people with uh, great music. Jeremy Edge with us today. He joins us live here in our broadcast, coast to coast and border to border on iHeartRadio and also AMFM 247.com. So, uh, you have you've put together a, a lot of great music. Uh, tell me about the latest project. The latest project we actually put under the name the Jeremy Edge Project is the name of the album, and actually it ended up being a collaboration album because we had some guest musicians on it and some guest singers. Uh, we had a great keyboard player. He's also named Jeremy, Jeremy Baum. Uh, played on a couple tracks. We had Josh Smith, who's a huge name in the in the blues community right now. He lent his uh, guitar skills to one song. Uh, my friend, a uh, singer from a band called Crowbot, Brandon Yeagley, sang a couple songs. And also Brett Hesla, who used to sing in the bands uh, Dark New Day and Virgos Merlot. Uh, contributed a couple tracks, so it's a uh, it's a nice kind of uh, compilation of, of different styles uh, on the kind of the same vein. Fantastic! It's Jeremy Edge. He joins us today here in our broadcast, coast to coast, to border to border, on iHeartRadio. Jeremy Edge with us today. So, uh, tell me about some of your heroes and musical inspirations. My heroes and inspirations, I would say the first two guitar players I really got to see live. Well, let's, let's talk, we'll start with the first three. Tony Almy, Billy Gibbons, and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, I saw Stevie Ray Vaughan when I was a kid. I think it was like the year before he died. I saw him live in a, in, a, in a little theater. And, I mean, I think that changed everything. Uh, the, all those three guys were huge inspiration for me to play guitar and be in bands and, and, and try to do this whole thing. Jeremy Edge with us today. He joins us live here on iHeartRadio, live Twitch video at our supersonic website, J-I-G-G-Y-J-G-U-A-R.com. So uh, if you could play with any three artists, living, dead, broke up, whatever, who would they be and why? Man, that's a tough one. I guess if you 
we're, we're, we're going to do one at a time or all at once. <laughs> Uh, I guess I would have uh, John Bonham on drums, right? If we're going with anybody, right? Um, I guess I would want to uh, probably, uh, I, would, I would say Jimi Hendrix, man. Like, it, what would be better than yeah, being able to stand next to that and he gets one of that five, you know? And, um, and uh, let's see. Um, believe it or not, a singer that's uh, kind of a metal rock singer, a guy that kind of had a classic rock and soul vibe too. Um, uh, a lot of people don't know about Ray Gillen from Jakey Lee's Badlands. I always thought one of he was probably one of the most unsung uh, rock singers out there. Very much like a Robert Plant, Paul Rogers, David Coverdale kind of vibe. And uh, yeah, let's say maybe them three. <laughs> Fantastic. Jeremy Edge with us today. He joins us live here in the broadcast. And uh, you can get more information online. Jeremy Edge is absolutely amazing. Check out him on the web. So uh, what's been some feedback you've gotten on your music and everything? Well, so far, um, the uh, the feedback we've gotten off the album has been great. I mean, I, I think I attribute a lot of that because we had some great players on the record, some great contributions. Um, and... Uh, I'm really happy about that so far because you, 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 this is a little bit of a departure for me because some of the bands I've played with in the past have been more mainstream rock or a little bit heavier, and 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 that's never kind of been my my bread and butter, you know. This kind of is, but you always wonder how it's going to be received, and uh, I think it's a good time, good time to be playing uh, some, you know, getting back to roots of rock and roll and blues and and, and all that good stuff. We have got Jeremy Edge with us today. Well, Jeremy, before we let you go, my friend, how do we find you once again on social media, websites, all that? You can find me on Facebook.com slash Jeremy Edge Music, uh, Instagram.com slash Jeremy Edge Music, on YouTube, uh, just search Jeremy Edge, and um, also JeremyEdge.com. Fantastic. Well, Jeremy, have yourself a, a wonderful day, and thanks for being with us, brother. Appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you having me. That's how we're going. Thank you, man.